Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. The James Webb Space Telescope is once again flexing its astronomical muscles. While it digs into the deepest mysteries of the universe, it's also delivering jaw-dropping images that reveal the cosmos like never before. Even though some of these cosmic wonders are millions of light years away, Webb's sharp, crystal clear pictures make them feel as if they're just a fingertip away. But here's where it gets interesting. The first stunning image we're featuring in this video shows something that, at first glance, looks like a glowing penguin and its egg floating through space. But ask an astronomer, and they'll tell you it's actually a pair of galaxies, ARP 142, located about 326 million light years away, caught in a cosmic waltz as they merge over time. These galaxies, nestled in the constellation Aquila, have been dancing together for anywhere between 25 and 75 million years. It's a dramatic fate that's set to unfold for our own Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy in a few billion years. However, unlike the spiral galaxies of our own neighborhood, ARP 142 is made up of one elliptical galaxy and one irregular galaxy, known for their messy, asymmetrical shapes. What's truly striking, though, are the stunning tidal arms that the irregular galaxy, NGC 2936, has formed as it interacts with its galactic partner, NGC 2937. Webb's false color infrared image makes it look like NGC 2936 is throwing cosmic confetti into space, but what's actually happening is that massive gas and dust clouds are fueling an extraordinary rate of star formation. While our Milky Way only sees six to seven new stars born every year, NGC 2936 is cranking out a staggering 200 new stars annually. Now that's a celestial party. Before the irregular penguin can finally cozy up to its elliptical egg, made mostly of older stars with much less dust and gas, it'll take a bit more time. Right now, the distance between the two galaxies is around 100,000 light years, about the same as the diameter of our Milky Way. It will be several hundred million years before these two cosmic structures merge into one massive new galactic entity. A combined view of the pillars of creation. The stunning images of the pillars of creation aren't exactly new, they first made their debut in 1995, when the Hubble Space Telescope snapped a picture of this colossal star-making region. More detailed shots from other telescopes followed in 2007 and 2011, and Hubble returned to the scene in 2015, capturing even sharper images of this spectacular structure in the Eagle Nebula, about 7,000 light-years away. But none of those images come close to the jaw-dropping ones that Webb unveiled to the world in 2022. Our new cosmic observer, Webb, is revealing details that were completely invisible to its predecessors. In Webb's infrared images, the young protostars at the tips of the pillars appear as reddish orbs, while the dramatic, lava-like curves are actually rays that these newborn stars frequently send out, striking the surrounding cloud of gas and dust. The combined view of the pillars of creation, shared by NASA just a few weeks ago, has shown us something incredible. We can't put the Hubble images away just yet, Webb's infrared data, shown in both photos and videos, highlights the cool gases and young stars, while Hubble's visible light images focus on the glowing hot gas components of this stellar nursery. Together, these two perspectives offer us a complete and awe-inspiring view of this cosmic masterpiece. The king of our planetary system. While the James Webb Space Telescope is primarily known for its ability to explore the farthest and oldest regions of the observable universe, it occasionally turns its gaze toward our own cosmic backyard. And when it does, the view of even familiar objects can be truly eye-opening. One perfect example of this is the stunning images of Jupiter, which reveal the king of our planetary system in a way we've never seen before, quite literally. The details captured by Webb are beyond what the human eye could ever perceive. To uncover these hidden features, Webb's NIRCOM observed the light reflected off the gas giant through three different filters. This approach allowed Webb to separate and evaluate infrared radiation from different wavelength ranges, which are invisible to the naked eye. These infrared wavelengths were then translated into visible colors, offering us a whole new way of seeing Jupiter. Even the most seasoned astronomers were astounded by the extraordinary level of detail captured by Webb. The images not only highlight well-known features like the auroras and the Great Red Spot, but they also unveil the planet's faint ring system, which is usually hard to spot, as well as the tiny moons Amalthea and Adrastea, both of which are often overlooked. 
It's a fresh, breathtaking perspective on a planet we thought we knew so well. The first direct image of the Super Jupiter in our own backyard. Jupiter is the ultimate planetary giant. With a diameter of around 140,000 kilometers, Earth could theoretically fit inside it more than 1,300 times. However, if we shift our focus 12 light years away to the star system Epsilon Indy, we encounter objects that make even Jupiter seem small, literally. The exoplanet Epsilon Indy b, for example, has a mass six times greater than that of Jupiter, making it an immense super Jupiter. But that's not all. This distant world is also the coldest and oldest exoplanet ever directly imaged. Direct images of exoplanets are incredibly rare, and most of those captured so far depict young, hot gas giants, which appear as relatively bright points in infrared images. Out of the roughly 25 exoplanets ever directly photographed, all have been younger than 500 million years, with most being even younger than 100 million years. Epsilon Indy AB, however, is different. At around 3.5 billion years old, this cold super Jupiter is a prime candidate for studying planetary evolution. Researchers are eager to examine this ancient exoplanet to test models of planetary development and address and resolve questions about the later stages of exoplanets' lives. What remains after a star's death? Supernovae are among the most dramatic and powerful events in the universe. When a massive star reaches the end of its life, it collapses and explodes in a brilliant, violet burst. The aftermath of such a stellar death is a sprawling field of debris, and for the first time, Webb has captured this in stunning detail. Taken a few months ago in the constellation Corona, Webb's high-resolution near-infrared image reveals the remnants of Supernova Cass A, a cosmic event that occurred around 340 years ago. This striking image provides a detailed look at the remnants of this explosive stellar death, showcasing the immense power and complexity of the phenomenon. Since the stellar debris from supernova Cass A is relatively close to Earth, the structure of glowing gases and a central neutron star has become one of the most studied supernova remnants in history. Although Cass A has been examined in the past by Hubble and the Chandra X-ray Observatory, Webb's Nearcomb has provided the first ever detailed view of the filaments the star left behind after its explosive demise in 1680. The inner shell of the structure, composed of sulfur, oxygen, neon, and argon, among other elements, appears in vivid shades of bright orange and pale pink. Beyond the inner shell, a distinct white glow can be seen, possessing a smoke-like appearance. This marks the point where the supernova shock wave enters the surrounding circumstellar material. Scientists believe that the bright glow is the result of synchrotron radiation, the light produced by charged particles spiraling at incredibly high speeds around magnetic field lines. Interestingly, on the lower right edge of the image, there appears to be what some have named baby cassette. This is likely a glowing dust field that was captured and heated by the shock wave long after the star's explosion. Although it seems to be in close proximity to Cass A, this structure is actually located about 170 light years away from the supernova remnant. Meanwhile, the Serpent's Nebula has never been seen in such detail before. Just like a glittering family photo with hidden treasures, the James Webb Telescope has revealed completely new features of this nebula, which is located 1,300 light years away. Not only did it provide breathtaking images, but it also gave astronomers a crucial clue about a special characteristic of young stars. Specifically, Webb's observations identified a group of protostellar outflow jets within this young stellar nursery. These jets of gas, emitted by newborn stars, interact with the surrounding gas and dust. Normally, these outflows point in various directions, but in this case, all the jets are aligned, pointing from the top left to the bottom right. This alignment supports the hypothesis of some researchers that young stars tend to rotate in the same direction when the gaseous cloud that forms them collapses. The reason this detail of the Serpent's Nebula has only been discovered now is simple. Earlier images either showed the flame-like structures as blurry spots or didn't reveal them at all. Luckily, Webb's high-resolution Nearcomb can pass through the cosmic dust and gas clouds, allowing it to see through the optical barriers that once obscured these features. And that's a wrap for today's cosmic journey here on Spaceverse. From the stunning details of supernova remnants to the awe-inspiring views of Jupiter and the Serpent's Nebula, Webb's powerful gaze is uncovering the mysteries of the universe like never before. Be sure to subscribe and join us next time as we continue to explore the wonders of space. Until then, keep your eyes on the stars.